So in the show of Catfish, it's all about finding out who the other person is on the screen. And in one of the episodes, Jessica thinks that she found the love in her life, but in reality, she's going to meet the person that she never thought he was. In this episode, Jessica travels to go see him, but he turns out to be a whole different person. He has a wife, he has family, he has a kid, and in his messages, he was not saying any of that. He was saying he was single and very interested in meeting Jessica and for her to become a part of his life. But that didn't happen. And that brings me to my quote, pay no mind to that man behind the curtain by the Wizard of Oz, which I agree with. My first example today are police officers. Society sees police officers as evil and heartless and just want to ruin people's days or give them tickets for no reason or just stop them. But in reality, people don't pay attention to all the hard work and dedication that they have to do in order to get this job at first. They have to go to an academy, they have to go through training, not only mentally be prepared, but physically as well. They see police officers as horrible people, but in reality, there are people just like them that have family and kids. So they have to hide behind their uniform to show that they don't care what society thinks as long as they keep society safe. In my second example, we'll talk about the movie Tangled. In this movie, this girl is taken by this evil witch that wants to keep her youth. But she doesn't mention to the girl that she had taken her from this really beautiful family living in a beautiful castle. But she does tell her that she cares about her or that she loves her and wants her to be safe. And that girl does not realize that until she tries asking it like, oh, let me go outside or let me, let me go see the lights that she's so interested in. But she has no idea that those lights are signals for her to come home that they do every year. And until that evil witch, also known as her stepmother, shows her that she is evil and doesn't want to, her to leave for a specific reason. She is fooled by her not showing exactly who she is. And now that we talked about the show Catfish, Police Officers, and the movie Tangled, we will now talk about the movie Taken. In the movie Taken, this girl wants to travel with her friend to Europe, but her dad is a police officer and doesn't trust the idea at all. He wants to keep her safe with her and tells her, don't leave, just stay. But she refuses, she, since she turned 18, she wanted to stay. And while they're in the hotel room, those guys that had followed her took her and she, they took her friend first and she got to call her dad, the only person that she trusts. And her dad told her step by step exactly what to do. And exactly what he said, she did. And once the other guys that took her, the dad answered the phone and told them, I will find you and I will get you. And that's exactly what he did. These guys were sex traffickers. They took foreign girls that were not known to the area and told them, oh, let me take you to the party, or let me take you to dinner. But in reality, they were taking them to get sex trafficked. And in this movie, the dad surprises them by showing up. He shows up, and he takes his daughter back from the sex traffickers. Him by himself, he takes over so many really evil people, and they had no idea who he was. So now that we talked about the show Catfish, police officers, and Tangled, I want to go back to Catfish, which shows that you really don't know who people are. They may lie to you, they may tell you to trust them, but you have, you have no intention but to trust yourself and know that people may lie to you and hide behind the curtain. And this brings me back to my quote, pay no mind to that man behind the curtain, which I do agree with.